Now, I took this from that website that John brought up, right? Where they kept saying that I was a liar and that I mocked that family and everything else. Now, at first, there's val- there's there's absolute proof that at first I was posting uh, things about my son being guilty. I knew he was guilty. I wasn't going to uh, try to pay any attorney to help him. He was a child killer. I was pissed at him for what he did to Braden. And then he kept telling me he was innocent. I didn't go to see him in jail right away, neither. It took me a while to get up there and go see him. And I decided to go see him after I I went down and got the facts of the case. And I was posting everything that I got f- for uh, the Justice for Braden, Love for Braden group that I had. And that group had the family members in it with me. Right, and I was posting like how I knew he did this, and there were people that are on YouTube today, you know, like Tracy, the truth that was telling me I shouldn't be doing this. He hasn't been to court. She kept telling me you shouldn't be saying that he's guilty because you're gonna hurt his case. Right? This is these are facts. So I went down and I got some of the paperwork. Tracy tried to stop me from doing that. Hey, we don't know what's going on, and blah blah blah. You shouldn't be doing this. Hurt your son's case. Right. So I went down and started getting the paperwork. I have videos of myself going to the courtroom and getting all the files of discovery. I had the discovery. I had uh, some, some of the video stuff, everything. And then I saw a statement like this. This is what I saw. This is an actual police report statement that was when Kelsey was interrogated by Detective Holly Bruss. <clears throat> Holly says, I asked her about d- disciplining Braden. And she stated that she doesn't discipline her kids. She only smacks him. It says she only smacks him in the head or gives him a whooping because he hits her. That's what the statement said. She only smacks him in the head at times. And they cut out the part where it says, this, this is what it says, and people have seen this, and I've still got it, as a matter of fact. I asked her about disciplining Braden, and Kelsey stated that she doesn't discipline her kids. She only smacks him in the head, is what it says. In the head, or gives him a whooping, because he hits her. She was saying that Braden hits her. She stated that she doesn't beat his ass. All right. So I saw this statement and people have seen this statement. Well, it says right here, she said she smacks him in the head and his child has concussions. And my son is telling me he's innocent. I see statements like this. Right. So I go down and I talk to the DA about it and they assure me that that was a typo. And they show me that they show me the recorded part of it. Right. What she really says is, she only smacks him in the hand. But this paper that's written out that I still got, I've got the whole thing. Whoever made up this thing, they cut out the part where it says she only smacks him in the head or gives him a whooping because he hits her. People have seen this, right? So I took, I go down to DA with this statement. This is a, this is the detective statement. I go down there and I'm like, what is this? Here she is admitting hitting this child in the head. And you have my son charged, and he's saying he's innocent. And they sat me down and played the recorded conversation that Kelly or that Kelsey had with Detective Heidi Bruss. Everything is word for word, except for she only smacks him in the hand. This police report that I got a hold of is a typo. And they tell me it's a typo. But here I have my son tell me he's innocent and he didn't do anything. He didn't touch him. And then I see this statement that says I smack him in the head. That's why the person that made this, that thing that John was on, that's why they made sure to cut that part out. This is my post. Right? This is my post. Tracy has seen this. Uh, Tawanda has seen this. Where it says, I smack him in the head. 
with that exposing the lies of Brian St. John thing that Brian, that, that John put up and only they cut it out. They cut that part out. I posted the whole thing. I didn't post just that. And then we questioned why was Braden hitting his mother? He wasn't hitting anybody else. Why was he hitting his mother? But anyways, once the police, once the DA showed me that that was a typo, and it was brought up in court as well, that that was a typo, I said, you know what? I was wrong by saying that she smacked him in the head because it was a typo, and I posted. I posted through my friend Angela, right? This is my; These are my exact words. In the interest of being fair, and after reviewing Kelsey's video interrogation when Detective Bruss asked her, how do you discipline Braden, Kelsey clearly says, I smack him on the hand. Even though the written report in Discovery says that I smack him in the head. I have been out here running with that. I was like, well, if she's smacking him in the head, he comes up with a concussion in the back of his head, you know, that she would smack him in the head. I am not here to slander anyone who doesn't deserve it without a fact to back myself up. The person who typed out the discovery statements from the video made a mistake and wrote head instead of hand. And Kelsey clearly says hand. I heard her say hand. I saw the written statement said head. I will not back up with my son with lies and I will not sit here and crucify Kelsey with made up stuff. Justice for Braden will not include any lie at all. And I do not want this out here about Kelsey if that's not what she said. And it isn't and it isn't what she said. She said hand. And slapping your child in the hand for discipline is reasonable. It does, however, make me wonder what other kit kind of mistakes can be made in legal reports. I put this out there in the interest of nothing but justice for everyone in this case, and I do I, like I do in other cases. Now, there's 634 comments in there. They're at, they're literally commenting on this whole statement right here. That's me. That's my Facebook, right? It says ham. But the person who posted it decided to shorten it up where you couldn't see the word head. She only smacks him in the head. And I still have this full uh, comment where you can see it clearly. I didn't, you know, I don't know why they didn't. When you click on this, you can enlarge it. And they, they made it smaller somehow. It's like it should have fit under this whole thing right here. So you can see it all. Right? But as soon as I found out that I made a mistake because they showed me in evidence, I surely posted it. Made sure it was posted. These people were commenting on, yeah, I saw what it said. All right? Trying to figure out what this means. These are some of the other... These are some of the other documents that I put out. I'm going to go through this. Oh, here, here it is. Here's the one that isn't cut. This is the one that isn't cut, and I've still got this somewhere. All right, this is the report that uh, Detective Bruss put out while they were interrogating Kelsey. And remember, I thought that you know i thought my son was guilty and then, so i went down and i go and look you know i'm really pissed off at my son for what he did and i go down and i get this paper i get all the reports i posted everything for everybody to see here it says i asked her about discipline and she stated that she doesn't discipline her kids she only smacks him in the head or gives him a whooping because he hits her i don't when when i see this right when I see this, I'm thinking, okay, my son's telling me he's innocent. And here we have her admitting to smacking her two-year-old in the head. Right? No one knew that I went down and spoke 
to the DA. Because, you know, I spoke, I, I went and I'm like, look, how do you have him charged in there when you have the mother admitted to smacking him in the head to a detective? And they were like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, and they went and looked at it. A typo in the investigation. It was a typo. Because what I heard her say was exactly everything that you'll see in this statement. She said this. I heard her say all of this. Except for this word. What she said was, what Kelsey's, what Braden's mother says was, she only smacks him in the hand. But on paper, it says head. And when I found out that it wasn't true, that it was a mistake, I saw the mistake when we were going over Kelsey's video interrogation at the lawyer's office with the DA is what I meant. And she says hand. I've been out here going on what the document says where it says head. That the truth would not never have came out. In fact, I didn't have to tell anybody that I went in and spoke to the DA. And they they played it for me. And they wanted me to understand. Because I was a witness for the state. Right? So I went to ask about this. They made a typo. And I'm not going to sit here and accuse somebody of saying something when I know that the facts are, that's not what she said. And that's me harassing the family of Braden Ferguson. And it's right on that Exposing Brian St. John page. It's right on that, me telling the truth about something that the DA told me, was it, which was a typo. She never said I smack him in the head, even though the police report says she does. That's me telling the truth. Justice for Braden. Period. That's me mocking the family. These are my real Facebook posts. These aren't my the fake Facebook posts. Posts where, oh, I'll never be a big boy. Those were the posts that people wanted to make it look like I was saying. But these are the truth. These is truth. This is all truth right here, what I'm doing. First I said, well, it says she said smack him in the head. She says she smacked him in the head. The truth is she said she smacked him in the hand. Nobody had any access to know that the DA played that video uh, uh, where she set, where Kelsey sat down with Detective Bruss. I didn't have to tell anybody that that was a mistake. I could have ran with that. But I told the truth. Kelsey never said that. 